I want to go now about 40 miles or so to the northwest of here. Significant home damage. These are people who woke up this morning and everything was okay. And now tonight, they're looking for places to stay. It's a very real day for them. Let's get to our Steve Pickett, who's in Decatur for us today to continue our live team coverage. Steve? Yeah, just on the outskirts of Decatur, somewhat some would define this isolated damage, but when you have an EF tornado as confirmed by the National Weather Service and you're right in front of the path of that tornado, that's what's left with for the Gonzalez family. You're trying to get that tarp on that roof. They do have substantial damage here. They told us that they felt that this was simply a heavy thunderstorm and strong winds, and you can see it's very different. The Zayla Gonzalez and the other family members who face this destruction you're seeing now, they say this was a tornado that ripped the roof off their home, and all were inside, including three children. From that drone shot you're looking at now, you can see the damage done to their house, as well as the path of destruction also hitting a larger ranch property about 300 yards away. Wise County authorities telling us that damage fairly isolated in this part of Decatur. And Ms. Gonzalez saying her children and mother, they hid in one room while she was in the bathroom. The house was shaking like a like an earthquake shaking and then like a bunch of I heard the big gust of air and then all the windows when they broke it was really really loud and then we're just thankful that we're all okay and nothing happened to the family and I mean it was a blessing because it could have been a lot worse. Uh, that perspective from someone who had to sit through this as that tornado ripped through this house and again we have no indications of any injuries at all the Decatur Schools, school district superintendent T Chad Jones, he came to this home earlier this afternoon to check on the students who are part of this school district. Three children inside this uh, home here earlier this morning. Mr. Jones telling us earlier today, this morning, they thought they would have to shut down the entire school district right around 745. All the power was out. They said right before he said thumbs up on closing it down, the power was restored. At least three homes impacted by this EF2 tornado here. They all deem it at this point as this community being pretty lucky, pretty safe, despite what you see behind me. Doug.